This is called a bread box style hot water heater. It's got two inch foil back foam um, on the whole inside and so the foils reflecting sunlight into the black tank. Like I said before, we got the tank free from the dump. We got these two glass panels also free from the Pella window people. Um, and so the real costs were in getting the, the foil back foam and some of the wood um, and some of the fittings and on the hoses. So um, I think for an average homeowner, you could, you could obviously have an outdoor solar shower if you wanted to, but um, you could also have this right next to your house and have it preheating water coming out of your well before it goes into your regular hot water. How cold do you think the water coming in is? Probably 50 degrees. And what do you think the water coming out is like? Um, depends on the day. Like first thing in the morning, it won't be that warm. Right. But by mid-afternoon, it comes out at about 120 wow. on, a, on a hot day. This is certainly a do-it-yourself kind of project that any fairly handy person could do on their own in a weekend. Um, the materials cost, I think, for a setup like this is less than $200. It's pretty low-tech, um, doesn't require any maintenance. And um, there are, you know, if you look up Redbox solar hot water heater on the internet, you can download plans and like all the information about it. So it really wouldn't replace your existing hot water heater, but it would maybe offset a lot of what it's doing, especially in the summer. Right, especially in the summer.